And as I'm going to show you, it's a really useful unit of acute risk. Let me show you my great new game. It's called Cambridge Roulette. I'm going to flip a coin 20 times in a row. And if it comes up heads every single time, then you've got to promise me to put yourself to a painless death. Great, eh? Now, how much am I going to have to pay you to play this game? Would you do it for a pound? Probably not. Would you do it for a thousand pounds? Yes, you might. Well, the chances of you losing is a half times a half times a half times a half, 20 times, which is about one in a million. Now, there's a name for a one in a million chance of sudden death. And that's the micromort. And as I'm going to show you, it's a really useful unit of acute risk. Take England and Wales. There's about 50 million people. And of these, every day, very sadly, about 50 die a violent or accidental death. So on average, we're all exposed to one micromort a day of acute risk. So it's as if we play Cambridge Roulette every single day of our lives. Now, that's acute risk. Not like eating pork pies. Pork pies are a chronic risk. They'll damage you and may harm your long-term health, but they're not going to kill you on the spot unless you choke on them. And also, we're just talking about averages. If you're a boy racer, you're going to be exposed to more than one micromort. And if you're an old man like me, climbing ladders, doing decorating, I'm also going to be exposing myself to a lot more than one micromort a day. So how can we spend our daily micromort? Well, looking at the statistics, we could walk about 20 miles, or we could cycle about 26 miles, we could drive about 300 miles, we could go on a plane for about 7,500 miles, which is about the same as a train as well. We could go on a motorbike at the other extreme, that you only get about 7 miles, seriously dangerous. Or a light plane is a very different matter. It's about 15 miles per micromort. They're really dangerous. There are six fatal small plane crashes a week in the US. Or we could indulge our appetites for extreme sports. If we go skydiving, that's about 10 micromorts on average. Hang gliding, about eight. Scuba diving, about five. Marathon running, about seven. All about the same range. Now, you may think, of course, that you're better than average at riding a motorbike, going hang gliding, etc. But just remember, everyone thinks they're better than average. Now, all these are small risks compared with the serious stuff, which is being in a war. In Afghanistan in 2009, UK personnel, all 10,000 of them, were exposed to an average of around 47 micromorts a day. That's like doing five parachute jumps every single day they were there. And worst of all, perhaps, is in the Second World War, in Bomber Command, if you're on a mission over Germany, about 25,000 micromorts per mission, about one a second, staggeringly dangerous. At the other extreme, some things seem rather safe. It's been calculated that the threat from asteroids corresponds to one micromort a year for each of us. So I'm not going to get too worried about that. Maybe I was going to have to pay you quite a lot to play my lovely new game. But paradoxically, many people pay a lot of money to expose themselves to more micromorts. If you go skiing, there's about one extra per day on top of your daily dose. People like doing exciting things. Exciting things can be dangerous. And we can compare all these activities using the lovely micromort. So each day, as you go through your life, just imagine that coin flipping away in the background. Count the heads and hope they don't get to 20. If you thought that micromorts were quite cool, wait till you have a look at the other stuff that Head Squeeze has got.